But there was a difficult time when I was in Asia, and that was when the U.S. was going through uh, bankruptcy in the U.S. Uh, GM was going through bankruptcy mm -hmm. in the U.S. Uh, and when the government came to help GM in the US, U.S., they said, okay, the money we give you is purely for the U.S. You're not allowed to take a cent out of the U.S. And at that time, we were making big investments in India and Thailand, and we had relied on our parent company to supply the funds for that. So we then, and we were told, basically, you can't find any funds, you've got to close them down. And I knew there was a huge opportunity beyond the, this investment there. Mm -hmm. And so we had to go and find it locally. And uh, that was that was a really big challenge. We did find it in India and Thailand are now doing pretty well, uh, I understand. So Is that why you sold the 1% controlling interest? Yeah. And now they're trying to get it back. Well, we were always able to get it back. The deal was we could always get it back. There were two reasons for that 1%. Uh, One was that SAIC was very keen to consolidate uh, SGM into their results, and that was one way of doing it. Uh, there are other ways of doing it, which we can, which we're investigating now. And, and the SAIC has always said we can have the one percent back. It doesn't make any difference to the running of the company. But as long as they can continue to consolidate, they're fine. The other reason was that um, they wanted that in order to consolidate. We wanted funds uh, for India and. Uh, and uh, Thailand, we were not. If the only way you can get funds out of China is through a dividend to the parent company. So that money was going to the U.S. And once it got into the U.S., we couldn't get it out again. And so SAIC were very helpful with us at that time to go to Chinese banks, and we got significant financing from Chinese banks and actually from uh, the Thai bank uh, to finance our, our things in uh, India. So when will you buy the one percent back? Uh, as soon as possible. I'm not uh, doing that negotiation now, but uh, I know the, the board is keen to get the 1% back. Um, but I can tell you, you know, SGM has continued to be extremely successful and it's not made us an iota of difference to the way the company is run. And that partner is Shanghai Automotive? Yeah, SAI, Shanghai Automotive, SAIC. Where do things stand with SAIC on negotiating to get back that 1% that you sold uh, during the bankruptcy? Um, I mean, what are really what are your options? In, they want to keep the ability to, to have the profits on their books and in process. In process, you think there'll be a resolution this year? Uh, a lot of it's there. You know, they have to go through what they got to do. Mm -hmm. so they they've had some things they have to work through. Yeah. But um, in process.